Hi friends, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing. Welcome, thank you so very much for joining me. Today I have two journals that were from a kit and I promised you that I would share journals that I made at the beach with you. Also, this is a great way to see if you're shopping in one of those creative reuse stores or you're looking in your stash, use up those kits and random things. So these were from Three Gypsies, and I picked these up at Mecca in Eugene, Oregon, which is a creative reuse store. They had, I think, one or two more. Maybe I should have gotten more, but I was worried they would sit in my stash forever. I took them to the beach, and I covered them in two very different papers, as you can see. And I think it's interesting to see how the same kit or the same starting point can turn out completely different. I have left these fairly basic and natural because I'm going to put kits in my Etsy shop that might be called naked journals so that you could decorate them more if you wanted. And I'll give you ideas for those as I do the flip throughs. I just think I, I did 12 journals and it would be way too much for one video. I don't even want to deal with uploading that thing. So this one, I used some B paper from close to my heart. And the bands on these are like a black rubber band, kind of industrial, super sturdy, reusable. I think for this one, I might switch this one to a ribbon if I was keeping it. Like if I was going to put it in my purse, I might switch it out to a ribbon or a fabric tie. I think a fabric tie might be super cute on this one. And I have a little charm right here and a Be Happy sticker and Be Paper. And I inked the edges on this with, mm, maybe it was tea dye. But then I covered most of them up. Like I inked a lot of the folds right here and stuff. But if you wanted to, you could add a bit more ink to the edges. It has a pocket right here and a little journal card with a B sticker. And then a B sticker here. And then it folds into this notebook with a bunch of paper on it. It's kind of a confusing notebook, but you'll see. So there's paper on each side and it flips out. I like this size for a couple of reasons. A, it would hold photographs beautifully. You could put a four by six in there, just glue it in, have pictures of your family. It could be a garden journal. It would also just make a super cute little notebook to keep in your purse and sketch in. The paper is fairly smooth and thick. It's really nice paper. So I think if you like to sketch with a pen or a pencil, or you like to use markers and maybe you make adorable little bullet journals, I think this has a lot of potential purse size for sure. So I like that about it. Then on the back, same idea. So you could put, uh, I have another pocket right here. So you could tuck something in and then more paper. So they're just a really cool, neat little idea. And they close up nice and compact. I don't know how big your purse is, but I think that's good. Now, the band does seem to be wearing the paper right here. So I think if that was a big deal, you know, you could ink that a little bit and then take off the band, like I said. I realized that I was zoomed in quite a bit, so I don't know if you really got to see. But it goes like this, and then it closes up. Very, very cute. And this one's like... Uh, this one you could also add like a bit of lace on the inside of the front cover or something and really change the mood of it, soften it up. This one speaks to me. I would probably uh, use this one. And if I was going to keep this, so what I'll do is I'll put these in my Etsy shop. And if they don't sell, then of course I have ideas for them. If I was going to use this, I would probably ink the heck out of everything, the edges with either a lighter blue or a navy. Black or brown would look great too. This is the Tim Holtz paper. The, I mean, I don't know, it was one of the Tim Holtz papers and I absolutely love it. I love how it turned out. I wrapped this one a little differently because I, I did one first and then I learned. So this one, these are separate pieces here. I don't have a pocket, but you could add a pocket with some other paper or you could put three photos all along here. And then I haven't put anything on the pages. I would probably do stamps, stamps with red or blue or that kind of accent the colors in here. And then on the back, I used this paper that's 
kind of a similar color palette. And then there's a pocket right here. So I think I would ink the heck out of this one. I think it would be fun to have a journal that has photographs of something that relate to it. This would make an amazing travel journal, wouldn't it? You could have, you could put this in your bag for travel, journal in it throughout your whole trip, nice paper, lots of pages. And then when you got home, you could put a couple of photos in it, maybe even one on the cover, and then have it on your desk or your coffee table or wherever. I think that one would be really cool. I've done small travel journals before, but I've never had a super cute one like this. You know, I've just done like a lined notebook or something. So those are the first two. And I showed you my July daily prep that I did in the in a prior video. And then you'll see more journals. And I don't like taking pictures and listing things on Etsy. It's it's something that I procrastinate on. <laughs> so if you want to message me on Instagram or email me, that's fine too. You don't actually have to wait till they list on Etsy. But I will try and get some of that done this weekend. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.